All right, this is gonna be a tutorial showing how to get Quake 3 downloaded and running real fast, real easy. You don't gotta pay 15 bucks for it on Steam and GOG. I don't know why the people in the Quake 3 Discord are so insistent on trying to get people to constantly buy Quake 3 to play it. You don't need to. Um, you only need two things. You need an engine and you need the PK3 files. There's a bunch of engines out there. The one I prefer, and I'll be showing you how to set up today, is IO Quake 3. I've used IO Quake 3 for a long time among the others. It all tabs clean and has the least amount of things that, uh, small things that annoy me. So, first thing you're gonna have to do is download the engine, IO Quake 3. Click on Windows, get your Windows download. I'll link all this in the description below. Second thing you're gonna need are the PK3 files. This is my Apache server that my Quake 3 servers point to for auto downloads. So these are my pack uh, PK3 files. You want to download all nine of them. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. As you can see, they all download pretty damn quick, but um, pack zero is the biggest, so that one's gonna take the longest to download. Once you have all those downloaded, well, once I have all these downloaded, I'll cut to the point in the video and show you how to set it up. Okay, so now we have everything we need. We have our IO Quake 3 here in the Windows zip, and we have all nine of the PK3 files we need, pack zero all the way through pack eight. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna have to extract your IO Quake 3. So extract the Windows file, go into it, you'll see release Ming W64. You're gonna extract that as well. And now you're gonna be in a folder that has a base Q3 folder, a mission pack folder, IO Quake 3 dedicated server executable, and the IO Quake 3 game executable. If you try to launch it now, um, nothing will happen. It'll say you need your PK3 files. So we have to go back and get those files. Pack 0 all the way through pack 8. You're going to copy or cut all of them. You do need all of them. And then you're going to go back to your IO Quake 3 folder, open up base Q3, and drop them in the base Q3 folder. Do not drop them in the root folder or the, the folder where the executable is. I've tried to help people set this up before and for some reason I tell them base Q3 and they just drop them here in this folder and then it doesn't work and they don't know why. Base Q3, you need to put them in the base Q3 folder. And as you'll see, then we try to launch the game and it works. Simple as that. It's gonna ask you for a CD key, put all twos in and now here we are, we're playing some Quake 3. Now, because we're using IO Quake 3, there is one little quirk that we should go over, and that's that your uh, files like your player config, your mod files, and your map files are not going to be found here in this folder. They get saved to your user app data Quake 3 folder. So I would recommend going into your local disk, users, your GIA, not yet your givens, your user, app data, roaming, and then find your Quake 3 folder. Here it is. You see how it has base Q3 in it, which is going to have your player config, among other things. Uh, I would make a shortcut of this folder. And then cut it. And put it inside of your IO Quake 3 folder, wherever it is you decided to put it. And now, whenever you need to, you can jump to that folder, which is going to have your configs and stuff inside of it. So, getting back into Quake now. As you can see, we can load up a single player game and skirmish and run around and shoot enemies up. We can just load up regular maps, map Q3 DM6. We can just load up regular maps and run around the map and like get our config set up. And right now we're unnamed player, so you can go into the setup, change your name to something. Yeah, that's what I am. I'm good for the man. Uh, okay, so. Here's the thing that will oftentimes throw players off. Once you start playing online, almost every server that, almost every Quake 3 server you find, well, good one, is going to be running a mod for Quake 3. And there, there's quite a few different mods, but the, the, the most notable thing these mods do, among other things, is improve the netcode of Quake 3 substantially from its vanilla netcode, which is like delay-based. So, your config is going to be uh, you're gonna have a different config for every mod. So if you join a Quake 3 Plus server, it's gonna make you a Quake 3 Plus config. If you join a Zmod server, it's gonna give you a Zmod config. But a lot of players freak out because they come into the vanilla game, they set everything up, they set their player name up and everything, and then they join a server and, oh my god, oh my god, uh, when I join this server, my, my config has been completely overwritten. I, I have no name, all my controls are not there anymore. What's going on? And they freak out and they panic and they leave the server and or they think that something's broken or whatever. That's not true. That's not the case. 
Uh, it's just that, like I said, every mod has its own individual config. And I'll show an example of that. One second. Let me alt tab and get the IP for my server. There we go. So I'll join my servers right here. Um, since I've never played on my servers with this uh, install of Quake, what I'll do is I'll type in cl underscore allow download one. This is going to allow me to use the auto download in my server to get my server's uh, mod and get the custom app it's probably running. It's probably like Cure or something. So you're going to type in connect. I'm going to put the IP of my server in. And you can see it's connecting. And it is currently auto downloading the Quake 3 Plus mod. Shouldn't really take that long at all. This is going by pretty fast. And boom, then it downloaded the map it's running, which is Blood Run. And as you can see though, we join in and oh my god, we're unknown player, and my sensitivity is different. Oh my, oh my god, oh my god, what's going on, what's going on, this is so fucked up. Like I said, it's just going to change your config um, to a Quake 3 Plus config. And if you Alt-Tab, you can actually go here, thank you, you can go here to your Quake 3 Plus shortcut and see that you now have a Quake 3 Plus folder with a Quake 3 Plus config in it. So... Now I think you kind of get what I'm saying when I say that every mod is going to have its own different folder. Vanilla Quake 3 has base Q3, Quake 3 Plus has Quake 3 Plus, and those are going to have your player configs in them. So from here you can go into the like player setup and change your name again. Oh, look at me, I'm, I'm given, that's me. And you can go into your controls, change your controls and all that stuff, blah blah blah. Um, and you'll also notice though that I have 75 ping and 28 packet loss. That's wild. This server must be terrible. This server's awful. Um, no, it's just that, you know, Quake is an old game with a lot of default old net settings. So you're going to have to change your net setting a bit. And it's not uncommon for people to join servers and have bad ping in packet loss until they change a few options. So the options you're going to want to change are going to be... The first one is going to help with any kind of memory issue. If you run into a problem that says, like, you need, like, it's a memory issue... You're probably going to need to use com underscore hunk megs 256. Then you're going to want to type in forward slash, of course, make it a command, rate 50,000. You're going to want com underscore max FPS 125. You're going to want CL underscore max packets 125. And you're going to want snaps. 40. Then you're going to type in vid underscore vid underscore restart. That'll reload the map. And as you can see now, oh, now we have 35 MS and zero packet loss. Much better. That seems much more like it, doesn't it? And from there, we're good to play Quake. That's all you got to do to set up Quake 3 and get it running and start playing it online. The biggest thing you need to keep in mind is just remember, every server you join is probably gonna be running, when you first get a fresh install, it's probably gonna have a mod you don't have installed yet and you're probably gonna have to redo your config. So that's just, you'll, you'll, just something to keep in mind, something so you don't freak out when it's not the same.